when we hear the native speakers speaking in business english we generally observe that they use expressions or idioms that are advanced and some of us may not even come to know what they mean when they using those idioms or expressions and hence in today's video we are going to look at some idioms and expressions that you can use in business english and in formal environments especially at your workplace or in office the first one is heads up when someone says heads up or when somebody messages you saying heads up they are just giving you some information in advance sometimes it could also be a warning that they want to give in advance for example hey heads up tomorrow is an important me- meeting with the vp of our company so see to it that you come to office on time so this is just a warning or to inform you in advance that tomorrow is an important day and you have to be present on time the other one is get the ball rolling or set the ball rolling when we say get or set the ball rolling we are actually meaning that getting some work started in reality most of the times there are there are times when we just keep discussing about work but actually don't get any work done and hence when we say get the ball rolling it actually means that we are starting some actual work some real work for example the inauguration uh, the inauguration of the site has set the ball rolling for the construction work to begin the next one is pull it off and before we move on to the meaning of this one i want to tell you that a couple of days ago i have put another video that is similar to this one which is for business english so if you're a working professional and you want to learn some good phrases or expressions that you can use at your workplace or in office you can visit the link here pull it off means to be able to do something successfully especially something that is challenging or unexpected for example when the ceo of the company came to visit the headquarters mike was given the responsibility of giving a presentation to the ceo and he was informed about it at the last minute everyone was apprehensive if mike would be able to pull it off which means everyone was a little skeptical if mike was the right person to present in front of the ceo and if he was the person who would be able to successfully deal in that difficult moment however mike pulled it off quite well that means he successfully gave the presentation and everyone loved it another one is pain point and this one is specially used for customers and hence it is very business centric for example pain point means the next one is pain point and this one is specific to business situations especially for your customers pain point is a specific problem area or a specific problem that your customers are facing and hence if a, if your boss asks you one day what is the pain point of your, of our client or what's the pain point of our customer he is simply asking you what are the problems that our customer is facing with this specific product for example i particularly face a pain point when i use toasters because they are very difficult to clean after using them they recommend using a brush to clean up the toasters but it's difficult to insert a brush inside the toaster and clean it from all the areas or from all the sides and hence me as a customer who is using a toaster would definitely give a feedback to the company selling the toaster saying that this is a huge pain point for me and i'm sure it would be a huge pain point for a lot of others like me who are using your product another one is catch up on something when you catch up on something you try to do that activity that you have missed doing or that you have not done because of some other constraints for example i'm a huge fan of marvel movies and the last marvel movie was released on this friday and today is monday and i haven't yet watched it i really need to catch up on this movie soon so just like catch up on something means to do something that you've missed doing and that is a thing that you've missed doing In the same way catch up with someone or catch up with somebody means to meet that person and maybe get some information or get some updates you will generally hear this from a boss telling his associate or telling his assistant that i need to catch up with you on the document that you've sent me last night 
that means maybe we need to sit and discuss and come to a conclusion another one is a ballpark figure and this one is quite common in business meetings or when you're going to somebody for costing or pricing and they tell you that the ballpark figure is this much ballpark figure means an approximate amount or a rough estimate for example if you want to get some t-shirts printed and you go to a company which is manufacturing t-shirts and you just want to get an idea about how much it would cost you to print say 100 pieces you could simply ask them could you please give me a ballpark figure another one is take it from there so when you're not sure about how certain things will work out after a certain point of time you can simply say that let's complete the first initial part and then we'll take it from there that means later we can again sit and discuss about how to proceed or we can plan out things for the later stage but right now maybe i'm not sure about how to go about it and hence we'll just discuss about the initial things and then we'll take it from there so we'll discuss about the let, later part later on guys i just want to remind you that if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications also do share my videos with your friends and family if you like them and if you've liked this particular video don't forget to comment on this video with your favorite idiom or expression that you can use in business english let's move on to the next one stay afloat when you stay afloat you have a lot of money or enough money to survive in a difficult situation for example in the current pandemic situation that we are all facing a lot of msmes or startups have been affected to such an extent that they were not able to stay afloat that means they were not able to pay their dues or pay the money that they owed to their vendors or to other people and hence staying afloat means having enough money in your bank account to be able to survive in a difficult situation the other one is used when you want to be polite to somebody but at the same time you want to interrupt that person because maybe that person is not letting you talk or speak and that is i see your point so when you say i see your point but do you mind if i put forward my views or i see your point but i would like to add something by saying xyz so when you saying i see your point you're telling the other person that i'm acknowledging what you're saying but at the same time i have something to say to the group and hence would you please mind keeping quiet for a moment and allowing me some time to speak next is push forward or move forward when you push forward an event or a meeting you're basically taking it backward and hence this one is a little confusing because you're actually preponing the time or the day of that meeting to some other day for example if your meeting was initially scheduled on saturday but because of some reasons because of somebody's unavailability you want to prepone the meeting you could simply say i've pushed forward the meeting to thursday because alina is not available on saturday so when you push forward or you move forward something you bring it in advance the last one is get the message across when you get a message across to someone or something or to many people at a time you simply meaning to say that you want to communicate that message in a clear way such that it is understood by everyone for example get the message across to everyone in the company that no one supposed to come to workplace without wearing a mask and no one is supposed to come together in the cafeteria everyone is supposed to follow the rules that the company has set and they are written down on the piece of paper and have been circulated to the entire company so when you want to get a message across you are simply telling that your message or the communication that you are doing from your end has to be understood clearly by everyone else in your company now guys if you liked today's expressions and idioms and if you think that you can use one of these then don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon that's really important because you will get notifications every time i'm i'm posting a video of this sort so let me know in the comments below if you like this video also you can maybe let me know your favorite idiom or the favorite expression that you liked from this particular video until i see you next bye